A very good morning to you and Merry, Merry Christmas for everyone out there who is joining us on the 12 days of Christmas. This is day one and this year we decided to do, well, I decided to do somewhat a little bit different from last year. Last year every single video was pre-recorded and this year I have decided that um, some of them I'm going to do as a live. So I'm going to be here video creating. I hope everybody is like having a busy Christmas and um, I don't know we just opened the presents with the kids and uh, I'll, I'll have to like you know but very very strange to do something different from out of the normal but it's really exciting as well but I just really wanted to be here for you um, today so come and say hello so how are you watching from and uh, we're gonna get started. Lisa is here, say Merry Christmas Kitty and all you lovely beaders. Charlotte is here, Merry Christmas all, Merry Christmas everybody. Lucy is here, all, all of you <laughs> usual suspects are here. Ruth is here, Merry Christmas. Lucy is saying Merry Christmas. Um, it's just, I don't know, it, it's so dark and gray outside and it's raining so it's a perfect day to stay in and do bits of pieces um we always like every single christmas we get board games for the kids and we're going to be looking forward to play uh, play with the board games later on but what a better way to start christmas day off <laughs> for a craft or a beater um doing some beading or crafting good morning linda good morning natalie helen Saba. um helen we say many happy christmas from sweden Helen, 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 Helen or Helena? Um, let me know. How do you still say Happy Christmas in Swedish? I will try to read it out. I will try to do my very best. Um, good morning, Edward. Good morning, Diane. Oh, she said, Kitty, lovely to get up to you for. Like, I'm here for you, lovely. Big, keep big hugs and kisses to everybody. So, um, I, I'm not sure like how much we will be able to do of this embroidery today. And I'm going to turn you down on the mat just in a second and we can have a good chat going along because I suspect to, <laughs> not I suspect, <laughs> but to make the whole heart, which is I got here is probably about three, four hours of work, but I'm going to try to i'm going to explain to you there's a couple of different ways that you can do it and uh, we're just going to get cracking with it and see how much we can get done morning sue sue's here good morning lovely jackie's here merry christmas from staffordshire she's saying right okay so i'm going to turn you down uh onto the table so um, any of you who got the 12 days of christmas you're going to have one of the kids um it might not be a heart it might be a different embroidery kit but they're all very similar and very 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 same so i'm just going to open it i'm going to get it out now in your kit you get everything there is a big chart there to follow if you wanted to but also that chart is printed onto the canvas so you got your canvas and then you have got your backing fabric which is this beautiful black felt you also have you get some you got some english instructions in there and you also have all of your beads. You have got your brooch back. If you want to make into a brooch back, you got needles and you got all of your beads. Now the bees beads are numbered up. So each bag is a different number and they are different sizes in there. So some of them are size 15, some of them are size 11. There's a little charm, little crystal, but it's all numbered up. So when you look at the chart on your embroidery, it shows you at the bottom that what color to the heart is what um what what number of bag do you get to get out for that one so he he wears one he's a red one as a finished project um it's quite nice just to have a beautiful little brooch like embroidered brooch i love them they could do all sorts of different things but what i love about this there's not just one color you do get all like you know this little twirls the different color seed beads they all just come together this is saying i'm excited for this allison is here saying merry christmas for everybody so i'm going to be jumping backwards and forwards um saying hello to everybody and he's saying merry christmas any merry christmas isla Okay, so <laughs> Helena <laughs> with an A, <laughs> bless you, I'm so sorry. Um, God Jewel is is in Swedish, so that's Happy Christmas in Swedish. We learn something every single day. I hope I God Jewel, 
Have I said that right? <laughs> do 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 confirm it for me. Um, sure is here. Good Christmas. Um, Ruth is saying someone wrapped all my days up and put them somewhere <laughs> safe and <laughs> didn't see. Cannot find them anywhere. Oh bless you. I'm sure they will. They will. They will be around somewhere. Um, and Merry Christmas, Ruth, as well. There is also um, Lucy pop the link in because this year we're doing this differently as well. And I will show you. I will give you a sneak peek of the next time I'm on, which is next week on. Is it Monday or Tuesday? I don't even know what day it is. It's Saturday today, isn't it? So choose. Day Wednesday. Um, we got different color options as well. So if you want, you could get some top up things. Right, shall we get started? So needles are in there. I'm gonna move this chart out of the way. Now, in your chart, as you can see, and just to pop it back for one second and I will zoom in. So the one inside the yellow line, that's on your canvas. This beads on the outer side of your yellow line. You're going to be stitching that straight onto your backing fabric once you cut it out. So kind of like bend the two together to hide the edges. And um, we're going to start by, I'm going to cut this out. So there is there is two ways you could do bead embroidery. So if I wanted to, I could just stitch the beads on here. And, and then glue the backing fabric on the, the back of this or I can stitch it straight with the backing fabric behind it as well. So I'm going to I'm going to show you both of them how would the stitch look like. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So I don't want to cut into my chart, so I'm going to start here. Now I'm going to cut leave a tiny bit, maybe just a, a couple of millimeters. And I'm going to zoom in for this on the edge because I can always trim a little bit more of later, but we can't add any more. Natalie's here as well. Merry Christmas for you too, my lovely. Camille's here. Merry Christmas, everyone. Ruth is laughing. Ruth, you will find it. It's somewhere around the house. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Patricia. Helena said I said it right. Thank you very much. Um, Lucy say, I just opened my 12 day sparse, such lovely colors and beautiful projects. Thank you so much. Um, Merry Christmas, Cheryl. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go quickly, go around and cut this out. So I'm just leaving a couple of millimeters on the side. Let's zoom in so you can really see it. Just, I can trim that off later. I'm just giving myself a little bit of a wiggle room. I just want to get while we get started sort of the outline of it so I'm, I'm not working with a very big shape i'm not you don't really have to pay much attention if you wanted to you could cut it straight on the line now well i guess if, you, if you're going to be adding the backing fabric behind it straight away then we should be cutting it on the line but i want to never mind i'm gonna i'm just gonna run around and i'm gonna show you Something about this canvas is just so just so satisfying to cut it because they're like as the canvas is interwoven, the you my scissor just makes this sound, this popping sound. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna trim these ends because I want to keep I want to keep this little bottom part in front of me because this is what I'm gonna use to identify what color of seed beads will I have to use. So it's probably better to start with the tiny beads first and, and then add the larger ones on top of it. But I'm going to start with some larger ones so you can really see what I'm doing. So we can either start, we need to pick a line. Um, I'm going to start with this line here. So that, that beads I'm going to come across and then, uh, then, then I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it without the backing fabric uh, to start just to stitch up and down. And then we're going to, I'm going to put it behind it and we're going to stitch slightly a little bit differently. Good morning, Brenda. Happy Christmas to you as well. Merry Christmas, Cheryl. And everyone in the group, she's saying Merry Christmas to you. Okay, so I'm going to get my needle. Now, there's a couple of needles in here. Like each kit is, is probably slightly different. So I can see already one needle is a little bit thinner and the other needle is a little bit thicker. So because I'm using the larger beads here, I'm going to be using the little bit thicker needle. The thinner needle is for the smaller beads, but like you can use it for the bigger ones as well if you want. But I know myself that I am quite, um, I'm, I quite hold on to 
my needle quite rigidly and uh, then I, I usually snap them like or bend them they, they look like a bow after like two minutes of beadwork right there we go what's happening with the hole on this needle it's so um there we go like every every time <laughs> when you have to thread the needle live so I'm just going to cut this off from my bobbin and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a little knot on the end of our um, at the end end of our thread here and we're just looking for my hands are so dry because I've been like cleaning and washing up and doing all sorts of different things <laughs> my nose and hands are so so dry so I'm just looking or I'm just gonna add a little bit of hand cream on there for you. Right. Happy Christmas, Susan. Susan is here. Um, we got two Susans, right? Uh, one after each other. So Susan Smith saying Merry Christmas to you all. I can't watch this one live. I have um streaming on church service at the moment. Just wanted to wish you all a love there. Merry, Merry Christmas and have a lovely day to you as well, Susan. And Susan Pils Pils Cox is here as well and she's saying Happy Christmas. Joanne is here saying Merry Christmas, Kitty. Merry Christmas all. Right, okay. So, um, if I am just doing the stitching first, just I'm just going to show you this. I'm going to start here and I'm going to do this row. Actually, let's identify it. So that one is the white bead with the purple outline, which on my chart here is showing number one. So I'm going to find bag number one, which is this beautiful white luster beads. I'm just going to grab a few out here. So I'm going to come up between bead number one and bead number two. So sometimes like uh, you're going to have to kind of like prick it and then if it doesn't come up in the right place then just take your needle back and just move it over a bit and then you will be able to come up in the right place so I'm just going to pull this through now I'm going to pick up a bead there we go and now I um, was on the left side of this bead I want to add I'm going to go on to the right side and go down so if I'm stitching this way this is just kind of like going to be the different, but I'm stitching up and down, up and down um, with my needle. And now I'm going to pick, come up between bead number two and three. And there we go. And then pick up another bead. So sometimes I find it easier if I'm doing bead embroidery this way, because if I'm stitching this way and I've got a larger project to do, I, I can actually pick up maybe three or four beads at the same time. The beads do look the best when they stitch down individually because then you have that they kind of like just sit the right way. But um, if you want to cheat, I could go and jump, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat here a little bit. So I'm gonna jump over. I'm, let's pick up two beads at the same time. So instead of coming up between bead number three and four, I'm gonna come up between bead number four and five, and I'll show you what will be the difference. And this time I'm gonna pick up two beads. So if I want to speed up my project. This is how I would do it. And probably the maximum I would pick up in a row is um, maybe maybe four or five beads. But can you see, like they, they're going to sit nicely there, but when we sit, when we stitch them, them individually, they sit the best. So that's, that's one way to do it. And then you would go along and add all of that. Now you can see that the beads are like sort of kind of like sitting on an angle. They're moving up and down. So we always stitching from side to side, side to side. Now, ver next version, and I need to come up actually. So I'm going to come up between bead number five and bead number six just come down a bit there we go so um i want to if i want to do with the backing fabric there straight away and i don't want to um like you know i don't want to stitch it on there later on then you're really going to hold it slightly different let me just turn it that way so we get the less wastage and i'm actually i'm going to cut this top part off because we're not going to need that i just want to make sure i got a few millimeters around my my heart there and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this 
there we go so if i am holding onto the backing uh, fabric which is this beautiful felt just quite thick i would reckon it's about four millimeter maybe three four millimeter thick so it's perfect to hide your thread paths so if i am doing it on this i'm going to hold it in between my middle finger and index finger with one hand and then with my ring finger and my thumb i'm holding it um holding it further down so i'm i'm, I'm stabilizing it up here and or holding it with these two fingers and i'm stabilizing with these two and i'm trying to when this these fingers like i'm not going to stitch through it because i'm going to do like a motion like a scooping down motion uh, with our beadwork right now so i can just hold it there and i'm going to pick up a bead and i'm going to come to the other side of that bead where i need to go through and instead of going all the way down i'm just going to kind of like catch that felt behind and just do I, I believe it's called a long stitch oh natalie yes it is just coffee at the moment because like I'll, I'll tell you all about my christmas tradition in a minute but i could not i could not do it like before the live because then i would not be able to stitch straight <laughs> right so i'm gonna do a few more of these there we go and then when you get to the end, you can turn around. I'll, I'll usually use the same thread as much as I can as I run out. And then you can introduce a new one in. There we go. Just make sure you pull it nice and tight. So can you see, like when we stitch individually, they sit nicer than when you stitch together. But it's really up to you. Like if you're doing a really big piece, like if you're doing a picture, sometimes you just want to speed it up. A little bit and actually i have got a picture to finish from last year so i might take that into lounge later on and do it um the only thing can't see everyone's comments i am not sure um what oh, why not lovely are you on totally beats page or are you on my page maybe it's maybe you're on my page and then everybody else you can only see the comments from that page or on youtube you can see both right i'm just going through so each time I'm just picking up one bead and like I kind of do this motion. So I kind of like I really want to get and stitch in the right place. So I, I'm not along. I'm holding this with these two fingers at the top and holding this at the bottom. I'm a little bit curving it over it. Can you like can you see the, the, the shape I'm, I'm creating a little bit curving over it so I can really get to the place where I want to stitch. And then once I, I put the needle through, I push it, push it like I pull the needle through, I push it back straight, and then I'm pulling through the thread itself. Oh, I can he hear Christopher walking around. He was a very happy chap this morning with his Christmas present. Um, um then I think I'm on totally beats, we'll sort that later. Try to, re to refresh the page. Maybe, maybe it will come through. We're still here. Wait for you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the stars, Charlotte. Right, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead, make sure that the thread sitting straight, come back and catch up with you in the comments. Um, I will my whole family together. Happy, happy. Oh, bless you, Camille. Have a lovely time with your family. Benny saying, Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a fabulous day. Not been beading much lately. Been sewing, but back to beading in New York. Very good, Bernie. I think you all, we all go to like that. Like we do one project and then move on to another and then come back to beading. And then again, do something different and then go backwards and forwards. But... If you were doing sewing, this would be perfect for you because you are combining two crafts here, beading and sewing. Right. Um, Dorothy's saying good morning. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you as well. So my coffee, my Christmas coffee. I only do this at Christmas and actually, but I was quite cheeky, not yesterday, but the day before I had one in the afternoon. So I love coffee <laughs> and I love Bailey's too. <laughs> so sometimes 
on Christmas morning, not sometimes, actually every year, but um, I pretend that I have run out of milk and I use Baileys instead of milk in my coffee. So um, it's just nice. It's just nice because, you know, you don't have to go anywhere. You just put the dinner on and nothing is open, nowhere to be. And it's just, just nice to have that uh, Baileys coffee. Right, okay, so I've got to the end of this little strip and I need to either turn around or I need to jump to the next section what I want to um, do next. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump down here, do this little bit and then jump and go all the way out and then we're going to come back on the top. So I'm, I'm going to stitch down and I'm just going to try to find and like, can you see like I am bringing a needle through, it's not quite the right place. I'm going to pull it back a little bit and then come up. Actually, I need to come up between these two and pull it through. You can't go wrong with this at all. It's so, so easy to do. And it's something about stitching a, stitching it down onto the, the fabric, the, the beads one by one <laughs> one by one you get them all um you're stitching them down it's just so nice to see the progress that like you know one by one they just go on there and i got a knot see this is why i couldn't have the bellies in my coffee this morning because then <laughs> i don't think i would be able to see that knot right so let's undo this knot quickly this naughty knot, Christmas day naughty knot. Stick one needle in and pull it apart. So let me know what you're having for Christmas dinner today. We're gonna be having turkey. So usually I do turkey and beef, but <laughs> Victoria became a vegan and um Doing, doing something for like a butternut squash thing but um since she became a vegan and then lucy and christopher is not really bothered about the beef either and they're not really bothered about the turkey either to be honest so i have to cook like three lots of pigs in blankets for them that's what they like and then all the trimmings so what's every uh, bun, every everybody else is having? No to Christmas sauce, Natalie saying absolutely. Johnny saying I love Bailey's this year. I have the spiced apple to try. Ooh, I just got a nor or ordinary one. I know a couple of years ago we we got the salted caramel one, which was really nice. Hold on, let's get this needle out. I think this needle is a little bit thick. But I just got an ordinary one. I only picked it up in the uh, because I completely forgot about it, and I only picked it up in a corner shop. So they didn't have any flavors. They they only had Bailey's. Ba but they only had Bailey's flavor. Bailey's. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, I hope it does. Right. Okay. Come on, not come apart. You're gonna show me up on Christmas Day, you thread. Naughty thread. More than what I do. So sometimes when the knot is really woven together, and sometimes if I get a, a pair of pliers and I just push the knot together, sometimes it clicks and then it comes out easier. So I'm not really doing, I'm just like pushing it together like I'd be crimping a plier. But what I'm doing, I'm loosening up the structure of the knot with that one. Right sort of flattening it out and can you see like the shape of it is changing slightly so let's try again with the needles well if you can't get it apart then you just have to add a new thread in it's not the end of the world it happens to everybody right am i under yes i think i got it from one side and then coming in Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I bet you didn't think you're going to watch me on Christmas Day undoing a knot. But never mind. So what else? What what is anybody having? What what are you having for Christmas dinner? We got dessert galore as well. And we already had to like sneakily open the cheesecake yesterday. So we had a bit of that. 
We got tiramisu, we got profiteroles, we got a trifle. I'm seriously looking more forward to the dessert than I'm looking for Christmas dinner. Right, I think are we or are we not done? Not not are are we not or not to not? I think we are still not. I'm gonna give it one more try and if it's sometimes it's just too woven. And if it doesn't want to come apart, then unfortunately we will be getting rid of the thread and not unfortunately, but we'll be getting rid of the thread and adding a new one in. Natalie saying, I love white chocolate cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake. My favorite one is the honeycomb cheesecake. That's so, so, well, all cheesecakes, actually, I love all cheesecakes, but um, I'm going to have to cut this off, I think. It's just really woven in. Like, of all days, like, we're doing, how many tutorials did we do ye this year? Hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. And of all days, I get the knot on Christmas Day. I can't believe it, you Christmas knot. This must be the Grinch doing. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on the Grinch. No the Grinch. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not I'm not gonna um I'm gonna cut this off because otherwise we will be here looking at me undoing a knot. So I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna just gonna leave that there and I'm gonna sort that out later. I will like take it through and um and sort it out, but let's stitch a few more beads then. Uh, Mini sink. I'm going to make slavery snacks like samosa and stuffed lentil balls. Ooh, they sound delish. So I'm adding a new thread in and what I'm going to do, again, I'm just tying a little knot onto the end of it and I'm going to come. So I'm going to just lift my fabric up, my canvas up and I'm going to come from behind. Actually, I know I mm, it's going to be too small. Oh, look at that. And the knot is just gone. Um, shall I knot it to it? Maybe. So there's all sorts of things you can do. You can join a new one in. What I am going to do, since it's not that long, I'm going to pull this back to this side. And I'm actually, I am going to knot the new thread to it. Probably that will be the easiest way. Pull this right down. Well, not the new thread, it's the same thread, but further down because we cut it. So then I got a secure end on both sides. So I'm going to pull this down all the way and then pull that one on top. And there we go. I'm going to leave a little bit of tail on this one. I don't, I'm not going to cut it too short. It's going to be behind the heart, so we're not going to see it. Okay. <laughs> knot is gone. <laughs> we denotted ourselves. Um, Helena saying, in Sweden, we eat meatballs, Jensons, freestyle switches, potatoes and anchovies, fish and onion mix, salmon, bran, beans, eggs, sausage and a lot more. Helena, I think we are all coming to dinner to you. <laughs> so get get a bigger pan out. <laughs> we are coming. That sound delicious. So I'm just going to come up where I was supposed to come up. And I'm going to just continue with my stitches. Oh, Ruth, she found her to all this at Christmas. Well done. Oh, Ruth is saying she's going to she's going to sneak around to Minas for snacks as well. Um, dirty sink. I have red one in my kit. This color is lovely too. Yeah, we, they they just like picked whatever was available in um, in stock. I like saying I'm back. Just had a merry Christmas phone call from my wonderful brother. Kitty, can we see a video again in the usual places, or is there a secret twelve days of Christmas place? So, oh, I don't know, like what if they linked it up um, for the website, but I think they do because they set up a. Um, page for every single day so I will check with Simon but I, I'm sure it will be on the top of it because the 12 days of Christmas now it's got its own our own page on the website Merry Christmas Rachel Merry Christmas Merry Christmas Helen 
Oh, I think you'll be lucky to watching you live in Christmas Day. Not and all. Oh, bless you. Love you too. Merry Christmas, Mina. And they're saying, I'm about to go to my daughter's. All my family are going there this year. We are meeting my son's new girlfriend. Ooh, don't, don't be, be nice to her. Don't be too hard on her. We are having turkey and a gammon to suit everyone. I'm only taking baubles and a tiramisu. Bubbles, not baubles, bubbles. <laughs> they're serious, so there's no bullets in my coffee yet. So no cooking for me today. Oh, bless. That's so nice. Um... Oh, Natalie's cooking for 13. Spicy Spartan and carrot soup. So um, it's so nice to sometimes go around to someone's and then it's all done and, and it's, it's really nice to um, celebrate together. We're going around to friends tomorrow, I think. Right, so I'm going to stitch a few more down. And then... And probably change the the bead for you so I'm just keep going down coming back up and just adding bead by bead one by one and adding them all the way around I love it I really I, as I said it's just something so therapeutic about it stitching the beads down Coming in now because I am gonna be adding the last one and I need to jump here. So I'm just I'm just like constantly turning it around in my hand because I like to kind of like stitch away from myself. So don't be afraid to instead of moving your needle around, move the fabric itself around. And there we go. And pulling this through. Going down. And then coming up, make sure I'm in the middle. So we are always stitching side to side. And I'm going to continue all the way down to the end. And there we go. Right, coffee. Hmm. Oh, I love you too, Natalie. Natalie's saying it wouldn't be the same if we didn't see you, Kitty. Oh, bless you. Currently watching this and Frank playing with a whole lot of dinosaurs. Oh, bless. Merry Christmas for you, Natalie, and all, all, all your family. Tell us, what sort of dinosaurs did he get? What sort of... I mean, Nat Natalie's little Frank is dinosaur mad. Like Christopher went through a, a stage as well. We even had a little dinosaur lamp. And all, all sorts of thing. Bless them. It's how funny, like kids go through stages as they grow up and they like different things. And Natalie, <laughs> wait another few years and then it's the the presents are going to get smaller and smaller in size and more expensive what they want. So I guess they all got their little... Um, Helen is asking what method is easiest with or without backing. So can you see I got no, um, the thread didn't come through to the back. So I'll, you can't see it at all. In this way, it's all stitched together. It For me, it depends how big is the piece I'm making. Sometimes I would do this way. Sometimes I would do that way. Oh, don't forget to pick up a bead. Um... If it's small enough, then it's easier to do it with a backing because then you kind of skip a step later on. If it's I'm making like a big, like a bracelet or, or a bigger piece, then I would want to do, I want to do it separately and glue it on. But for a brooch and for this one is, is absolutely fine. And it depends what kind of backing fabric you use as well. Because this backing fabric is felt. So it's quite nice and squidgy and quite thick. But there is also the stock Alcantara. Which is a, a fake a faux suede as well. So when I do embroidery pendants that, that's what we would use. And with that one you're going to have to glue it on the back. Because it's, it's more flatter. It's more thinner. You can't really sort of stitch backwards and forwards in it with this one because it's a very nice fluffy felt 
you can stitch through it very easily. Oh, Natalie's saying, be quicker to tell you what he didn't get. All types, all sizes, all colors, some with wheels. Wow. I mean, like, I would love to see a dinosaur with wheels. I mean, that's, that's like, that, that great. Like, you have, you have to send me a picture. That must be really, really cool. Bless him. And you know what I love about it? And I, and I know Natalie Frank knows, like, they know at that age, and, and this was what I, what I was amazed about Christopher, when he was about three years old, he was into dinosaurs, he knew all the different dinosaurs, that all the different names, all the different what, what they are, he knew how tall they are, he knew like, you know, like so much about them, and there is so many amazing programs on the TV as well about dinosaurs, and they learn so much. So this is shows like even when they're little, when they find something, then um, they really grab onto it. And um, I'm going to turn it because I want to come up here. Um, they really grab onto it and just just learn, just just sponge you up. They just sponge the information up. Um, Diane just asked as well, do you always use the backing when uh, sewing? No, it depends of, on what sort of backing. So if I if I was using the Alcantara, because the other thing what happens with when using the backing as well, so as I'm moving it, this side like moves around and um, I like to have, like I find this, this way is quicker and like easier, but if I don't have the backing behind it, I can stitch up and down in a more precise way because I can really find the side of my beads and then come up through the next because like here I am pushing the needle through in an angle and then if I stitch down and I stitched up I could be pinpointing it when I'm stitching up and when I'm stitching down. Lucy saying, I'm having a bit of a gemstone obsession at the moment. So let us know what gemstones are you or what you're making with the gemstones or what type of gemstones you are using. I know you did the tree. I seen the picture that looked fabulous. Right, I'm stitching through. So now I'm going to stitch down and I got one bead just underneath it and I'm going to stitch into that one as well. Uh, Natalie saying she knows more facts about dinosaurs than she knows about gemstones. I'm sure that's not true because you, you, you know a lot about gemstones, but I know exactly how you're feeling. Bless. Right. Natalie, what are you having for um, Christmas dinner? Let us know. Merry Christmas, Melissa. Nice to see you here. Right, I'm going to stitch a few more down and then um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back because, see, this is why you kind of like need to stitch the smaller ones down because they're going to disappear behind the biggest, bigger ones. So I'm actually, I'm going to stitch this down and I'm going to jump back and add this on and then I'm going to come back and start adding the smaller ones. I'm going to fill that gap in. I'm going to add this white one on and I'm going to jump and fill this two little one in, jump to those ones and I'm going to start filling this blue one in before I return to the white one. So I'm going to need the grey with the white outline which is number eight. So I'm finding a number eight little grey one. So I'm going to need a four of those. Now I only take a few beads out of the time because I don't want to like, you know me, I, I, <laughs> I go klutzy and they all mix up. So I'm going to add this white one in. And before I fill up any more in, because if, especially here, it will be harder to get to those smaller beads once I added the bigger ones in. But I just really wanted to show you on a bigger bead. So now I'm going to come to these grey ones here. And do these two and then and I'm just pulling with my thumb I'm going to pull those beads out slightly of the way so I can get to it but if you start with the smaller beads first and doing your outlines then it will be great will this go through my needle no okay so we need to change the needle as well <laughs> so I'm going from the thicker needle down to the thinner needle for this beads, this size 15s. 
Helena is saying have to go, family and eat. It's almost 12 in the middle of the day here. So see you later on. Have a great day. Helena, I need, I'll need i need to go and put the turkey in the oven. Like I haven't even started cooking yet. So the minute I've finished here, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna go and start cooking. And um, I think it's about three hours I need to cook it for. So we're not going to be having, we're going to having more sort of a, a dinner, I guess. But then that gives time for the kids to play with all of their toys and bits of pieces they got Christmas. I have to tell you in our household, um, I, th I think all of my kids, all three of my kids must think I'm really smelly <laughs> because all I got, like, not all I got, I got um, bits of pieces, but all three of them got me either shower gel or a perfume or, or something smelly, bless them. But then Christopher did, Christopher did get me candles as well, so that was nice i love i love smellies and i love love smells i love my candles and i really recently got into like sort of aromatherapy um oils and bits of pieces as well so i love those as well so i'm just again just trying to find i'm going to come to these two grays and then i'm going to stitch back on this little blue line then is think having food after the queen's speech yeah, that's, is that 3 p.m., Diane? I think that's 3 p.m. If I'm all right. But I'm, I, I never know what time it is, so... I'm going to have to get the turkey on it pretty sharpish. Right, I'm coming through. Next one. And then we're just going to start adding... So you can see the size of the beads are slightly different. So it's better to start with the smaller ones. And already my needle is a bow, <laughs> I told you. Almina's saying she's got bottles of wine. There she said, thinks my friends know me well. Yeah, we were, we were having a few glasses last night as well. I got a few bottles in. Right, so I'm going to come up there. So if you do it without the backing fabric, it's more of a, oh, what's that blue? So that's blue is a lighter blue color with a dark blue outline. So that is, that's this one. And that's this one, right? Or this one, no, is this one, number seven. So number seven is white again, but it's got a sort of, milky finish to it you can hardly see on my mat but they're there <laughs> so i'm just going to pick one up i can hardly see it on my mat oh sorry i had to like really go in for that one and i think i missed the hole there we go because i got a white mat so i'm gonna turn it and then just stitch down and stitch up to the next one and you're going to go on and add them one by one you're going to add all of these beads onto your canvas and there we go so i'm adding these smaller ones in right i really can't i need to change the color of my mat i can't i can't see this properly so once you added all of your beads on let me just pull this out of the way so I know where do I have to come up. Then you're going to trim your sides again. So what you want to do is to trim as you added your beads on. You have to be careful because you're going to have, and I got another knot on this. No, okay, knot is gone. So you're going to have to go, go in and trim your fabric then again now what you have to be careful because you're going to be having thread paths here on the edge so what you have to be careful that you do not cut your thread because then your beads going to come off so you're going to go ahead trim it slightly a little bit more just as close as you can get to your thread paths but you don't want to cut your thread paths so be very very careful when you're trimming it and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to trim your backing fabric and your backing fabric you want it just a tiny tiny bit bigger and i'll show you on this one so can you see where that finishes and then your backing fabric just a tiny bit bigger and then you're going to stitch 
sort of from your fabric and your backing fabric, you're going to go around in a circle motion and add a line of beads all the way going around um, just to sort of decorate the sides and you even bind the two materials together even more. And once you've done that, you're going to stitch down your, can you see just sort of the, stitch down the, oh, I'm brain dead already. And it's like 10, half past 10 in the morning. Your brooch pin, you're going to stitch down your brooch pin. And then you can cover it up with uh, another piece of little felt if you wanted to, so you can't see. Let me just open up so you can't see where you stitch and you can't see the back of the brooch pin and that's it really to it there is it's, it's quite easy you can add this on the bottom there's a real crystal as well if you want to lengthen it if you want to add it i i really do love it there's all sorts of different shapes you could do there are all sorts of different stuff um in the bead club actually in january or start of february we are doing um, bead embroidery which with cabochons as well I love this technique, a very, very beautiful, very soothing, very therapeutic, just to um, stitch them on. Oh, look at this. Natalie saying, you need more coffee with bellies. Absolutely. That's what I'm going to do next. So one minute I finish here, I'm going to go and make a fresh coffee because there is there is actually not much left in this one now. And uh, definitely it's going to be a Bailey's coffee. Then he's saying, so glad my mat, my mat is blue. Yeah, so absolutely. So if I pick those little beads up, can you see? You can see them on there on the black. I got all sorts of different colors of bead mats. And yes, 3 p.m. Queen Switch is 3 p.m. Right, my lovelies. I am, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to say Merry, Merry Christmas again for everybody. I need to go and get the turkey in the oven. Otherwise, we're not going to be eating today. And all the trimmings and figure out who wants what. And like, you know, this is going to be, I want roast potato and mashed potato and all sorts of different things. So I'm going to go and put some music on in the kitchen. And I'm going to sort, like I pretty much sorted everything. So the potatoes are peeled and everything else. So kind of like just need to go in the oven. But I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and put our Christmas dinner on. So I'll be back before I go. Actually, I'm gonna show you this. I'll be back on next week on a Wednesday, and I'm gonna give you a sneak preview. We're gonna be making this beautiful eye of a storm pendant because they are eye shape. Um, that's why I call the eye of a storm. Um, there is um, I, I'm not sure which color. I think it's the pink one, which is in the 12 days. Or maybe they added different colors in as well. I don't know. But um, we're going to be making these beauties on Wednesday. Very, very... Wednesday? It is Wednesday. Very easy technique. Very, like, probably take you like 30 minutes to make one. I really, I really do. I loved, loved, loved designing this one. So we're going to be playing around with this on Wednesday morning. I'm going to be live again. So I'm going to be doing my videos live. Tomorrow is, um, <laughs> tomorrow you got the lovely Natalie with you. Um, it's going to be a recorded video tomorrow, but she's going to be showing you how to make wire bangles. It's, um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have given it away. It's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful bracelet what she made and then the day after Sarah's gonna be with you and then Natalie's gonna be with you and I'm gonna be with you and all sorts and we're gonna be backwards and forwards for the next 12 days every single morning at 10 a.m we're gonna be here some of them are gonna be live some of them are gonna be recorded videos but we're gonna be here with you creating and doing something beautiful everybody have a beautiful Christmas day Oh, I love these, Danny's saying. Uh, have a wonderful Christmas day. And I'm, uh, I'll be back next week. And next week is, I don't even know. Like, this is like the holiday is sitting in. Like, when you don't know what day it is. Like, I don't know. It's Saturday today, isn't it? But <laughs> normally, I don't know what day is. And especially in the holiday season, I never know what day is. So, everybody, have a beautiful day. And I'll see you back shortly. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Diane is saying that, and I'll leave you with that one. Merry, Merry Christmas for everybody.